Snow Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, Think Outside, Yamaha, Revs Your Heart, FXR Racing, celebrating 25 years of speed, and by iPone Lubricants, exclusively distributed by Parts Canada. The intro of the Arctic Cap Blast underscores just how serious the OEMs are about expanding this sport. Right now, all four OEMs offer low-cost, high-value models aimed directly at attracting new buyers to their showrooms. There are big questions surrounding this move to lower price sleds. Questions like, what is the sweet spot for MSRP on an entry-level snowmobile? And what are the right dimensions for such a snowmobile? And what is the right power level, top speed, and weight for a sled in this emerging category? In an effort to gain insight and answers to these burning questions, we made a phone call to Arctic Cat's engineering manager, Lynn Berberich, in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Lynn gave us all the info we needed to get up to speed on the nuts and bolts and the motivation behind the Blast family introduction, including the Blast, the Blast LT, and the Blast M. Before we go much further, we think it timely to mention Arctic Cat was the first OEM to purpose build a high value mid-sized snowmobile from the snow up. While other OEMs are definitely in this market with variant models, AC came to the party with a completely new package aimed at not only hitting a high value MSRP target, but offering a snowmobile that could be three things or more all at once. We have to admit, when we first heard the Blast would be powered by a single cylinder engine, we were a little skeptical about some of the inherent issues that surround the use of single cylinder two strokes. Our first concern was vibration and associated buzzes and rattles singles are famous for. Interestingly, Berberich zeroed in on this very issue in his description of issues the Blast concept had to address. Here's the deal. The 400cc EFI liquid-cooled power valve reed valve inducted single uses a sophisticated gear-driven counterbalancer which deals with single cylinder vibration in both the horizontal and vertical axis. As a result of this design, the 400cc single does not produce undesirable vibes from startup to engagement to full throttle runs down the lake. Before we go too far down this road, we have to admit, we had questions about the origin of this 65 horsepower 400cc motor. Specifically, we wondered if the Blast 400 single was nothing more than an Arctic Cat SDI 800 twin cut in half. Obviously, it couldn't simply be half of an 800 as the 400 single has a completely different bottom end with the aforementioned crankshaft driven counterbalancer. There's another difference in the 400cc single power plant. The 400 uses the same EFI system as the 800 twin, but obviously employs a single cylinder fuel rail. However, Lynn indicated whatever economies of scale could be leveraged in the design of the Blast, Arctic Cat borrowed from technology currently in use. The Blast's use of standard engine reverse is one such example. The Blast is a pretty significant departure from the competition's value offerings. It was designed to be easy to handle and lightweight for smaller riders. While Skidoo uses the G4 platform for their sport series models, and Polaris employs the Indy Pro Ride platform with a shock and skid chassis, Articat opted to build the Blast around a rationalized and scaled back existing architecture. Familiar to Articat aficionados is the Blast's AMS independent front suspension and tall sculpted spindles. Beyond the IFS parts, the Blast has its own unique chassis, uncoupled rear skid, seat, and bodywork. Pretty surprisingly, all Blast models come with standard e-start. Berberich made it crystal clear to us that buyers expect automotive quality starting, chokeless warm-up, and smooth and easy drive away. Today's snowmobile buyers have expectations well beyond what some of us grew up with. Single cylinder snowmobiles of the past were often hard to pull over, noisy, cold blooded and vibration prone, requiring deft manipulation of the choke on drive away. Today, buyers expect key starting, quick warm up, low smoke operation and a level of NVH rivaling their pickup. Berberich makes it clear these issues are non-negotiable, even when designing a very price conscious sled. Clearly, to get the attention of new buyers, the Blast had to offer it all. 
Snow Tracks is brought to you by the regions of Quebec by the sea. Discover our ride ideas. In the past, high value models have more often been known for the features they don't have. Pretty clearly, the Blast lineup has not missed a single feature we would expect on more upscale offerings. Burbridge indicated that many new to the sport snowmobilers are intimidated by the overall size and weight of today's mainstream models. This drove Arctic Cat's extensive engineering team to deliver overall dimensions and particularly overall weight at significantly lower levels. We can say without a doubt, this was a smart move. The blast can be thrown around in the twisties with little more than a flick of the bars. The sled has a very short frontal profile, some say maybe a little too short. However, this smaller stature produces a significantly less intimidating appearance. If you want it to look less stubby, we would recommend Arctic Cat's smart looking optional front bumper. By the way, the ZR Blast tips the scales at only 415 pounds dry. What is quite remarkable about the Blast is how even full-size riders can get comfortable with the sled's versatile ergos. While the Blast at first glance appears smaller than a full-on Procross model, the rider's perch is actually very close in dimensions. This means the Blast can double as a beginner sled or a second sled. What will surprise buyers is the level of fun the Blast delivers on a twisty trail. We found initial turn-in to be positive and linear. Notably, the sled holds a strong line through the center of the corner with little, if any, understeer. Our only suggestion in the handling department would be the addition of an anti-sway bar. The Blast offers a new purpose-built uncoupled rear suspension offering 10.7 inches of travel. There's torsion springs on the rear arm and a coilover shock on the front arm. Uncoupled skids give up some bottoming resistance in exchange for weight transfer. Simply put, the Blast's playful skis off the ground launches will make riders giggle. As well, the uncoupled skid lets the rider manipulate fore and aft weight transfer in turns. This provides exceptional confidence to new riders. When they drop the throttle entering turns, the Blast settles into its front arm and front IFS, producing positive and confidence-inspiring bite. Interestingly, both Arctic Cat and Skidoo approach the high value market with not one, but three variants. The lowest price blast model is the ZR. It uses a 121, one inch lug, 14 wide track. The Blast LT comes with a 146, 1.6 inch lug, 15 wide sneaker. And the Blast M uses a 146, 2.0 inch lug, 15 wide camo shredder. Obviously, the LT and M have longer tunnels, and the LT comes standard with a rear rack. All three variants use the same engine and CV Tech clutch package. Offering three different models for three different disciplines is smart. Obviously, the LT will find a place with ice fish diehards, sugar bush operators, and a host of others. The LT commands more jing than the ZR, however, it provides the most versatility. The LT is unique in its ability to be fitted with a two up seat. It also offers a 146 by 1.6 inch lug track capable of taking pilots through deep flatland snow. You simply cannot overvalue the low end grunt of a big displacement single cylinder engine. All blast models will pleasantly surprise buyers with their instant takeoff and get up and go response at low RPM. The M blast is targeted at mid to low elevation riders. Let's not mix any words here. You're not gonna be high marking bulls at 8,000 feet with a 400cc single. What you will be doing is getting familiar with riding in deep snow and off camber situations. This sled has the potential to further open up the mountain market to new participants, younger riders and riders of smaller stature. Keep in mind, this sled is lightweight and will respond to inputs from riders of almost any size. In our opinion, Articad is on the right track here with the Blast series. There's no debating the value these snowmobiles bring to both Arctic Cat dealers and Arctic Cat customers. When Arctic Cat buyers bring home a new ZR, LT, or M Blast, we predict many will encounter problems with their families. The problem? They're going to need another Blast. Trail Tech is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. Using your truck or trailer to transport your sleds, it's all a part of snowmobiling in the wintertime. 
but it's not always easy. So utilizing products that make this process easier is something that we always like to talk about here at Snowtracks. There's a lot of companies out there who make products to assist in the transport of your sleds. And one of those companies is Caliber, who make everything from shop dolly wheels to sled ramps and even hard-mounted trailer ski and track guides to assist in getting you out on the snow with less hassle. When you start out in the morning or likewise finish up after a long day's ride in the evening, a lot of us like to leave our sleds inside the shop so that they can thaw out. But that can come with its own set of problems as well. Using Caliber sled wheels as well as the Trax wheels allows us to move the sled around the shop with ease. The ski dollies work with nearly all sled skis and actually lock onto your ski so that you can drive it up to 12 miles an hour. When you link this up with the rear Trax wheel setup, it'll accommodate up to a 3.25 inch deep lug and it has a five inch oversized caster. It means that you no longer have to struggle to move your sled around the shop with just a single undersized caster. And because it's a tapered base, it means that if you hit a rough spot in the concrete, rubber, or even a piece of gravel in a shop floor, it won't cause the dolly to fall off the track like so many others do. Once you're ready to ride, it's as simple as removing the rear track's wheel and driving out to your truck or trailer. Which brings us to ramps. If you don't have a sled deck in your truck, you need to get the sled into the back of your truck and the old snowbank trick, well, there's not always a snowbank close by. That's where a product like the Ramp Pro comes to play. It's a 1500 pound rated, lifetime warrantied, all season ramp that'll work for your ATV, sled, dirt bike, or even golf cart. The ramp is foldable, so it'll slide in beside your toy in the back of your truck. The grips not only to make loading and unloading super easy, but also to make walking up and down the ramp much safer. And Caliber claims it's the safest ramp in the industry. Now, if you have a trailer to haul your sleds, there's yet again a sea of options when it comes to traction products for inside of your trailer to guide your sled in safely. Caliber is a company who offers one-stop shopping and even offer an online trailer configuration guide to help you select the right products to outfit your trailer properly for your needs. And right up front, the first thing first is an innovative and smart idea called the Edge Glide 2.0. This folding ramp transition will save your trailer's steel, wood, and aluminum from getting destroyed by your sled's carbides. They come in 24-inch width and even have an integrated cut line for trimming to fit your trailer door properly. Moving from here, we can utilize the Grip Glides, which are a low-profile, low-friction guide for your skis. These are available in a variety of sizes at 6, 9, or 12 inches wide and various kits with quantity for outfitting your trailer. They allow the ski to effortlessly glide, yet keep you on track with the concave ridges and also give traction for walking thanks to built-in grips. When you transition from the grip glides at the corner in your trailer, Caliber makes a pretty unique product called the Flex Glide that actually mounts to the angle you want your skis to take thanks to their fully adjustable design. They are also available in a low profile for inside ski or high profile for the outer ski keeping you on track, even if you're carrying a bit more speed than you should. Now, when it comes to the track of your sled, there's also benefits here to having grip inside your trailer. It means that you're not gonna tear up the wood or vinyl floor underneath. Especially important for those of us with studded or pre-studded tracks, a product like the Trax Grabber goes down with the included stainless hardware and gives 16 inches of width for your track to grab. It's guaranteed not to break and backed by a lifetime warranty and works with the low profile trail lugs or even big paddle mountain tracks and everything in between. And the final finishing touch should you wanna keep your trailer ramp even safer for loading is the edge guards. With a 4.25 inch sidewall, means that your kids or even an unexperienced rider can drive up the ramp without worry of going off the side. Like a guardrail, they keep you on course and make your loading experience much safer. I know that we've shown you a lot of information today, but when you utilize safety products like these from Caliber, you're not only gonna have a safer experience when you load up your sled, you're also gonna protect your investments in the long run. It's been a big year for the mountain segment. Yamaha is back with a two-stroke, no less. 
Skidoo released the industry's first two-stroke turbo, and Polaris has updated their already outstanding Pro RMK to be even lighter and more responsive. There's a considerable amount of news that should be enough to get any high altitude rider excited. But it's important to remember that Polaris's Pro RMK has, for a number of years, been labeled by many as the industry's best mountain sled, especially for aggressive or technical riders. No, it doesn't get a turbo for 2021, but the updates it does get are aimed at making the best even better. Are they enough to keep the Pro RMK at the front of the pack though? That's what we're gonna find out right now. Full disclosure, the majority of the 2021 Pro RMK 165 we're testing today is identical to the 2020 Pro RMK 163. It's the same chassis, same suspension, same awesome 850 engine, same controls and the same bodywork. I won't blame you if you're wondering what actually is different. The answer is simple. This season, the Pro RMK gets a new belt drive system called the Quick Drive 2 and a new Series 8 track. At first, this might not seem like a big deal, but let's just dig a little deeper before we make any judgments, shall we? Polaris's original quick drive system was pretty cool, and it did carry with it some pretty important benefits over a traditional chain case setup. First and foremost, it was lighter by about five pounds, and on a sled designed to go up through the deepest pow, low weight is a big deal. In my opinion, bigger than on any other segment of sled. Second, the belt drive system allows for almost instantaneous power transfer to the track, which results in almost instantaneous lift when you hit the throttle in the deep stuff. And finally, the quick drive system itself sees a 6% reduction in driveline inertia, which makes the sled feel more maneuverable and more flickable. So it's pretty clear the original quick drive system was pretty awesome, but it did come with one major drawback. The belt itself was not strong enough to handle the extra stresses added to it by 163 and 174 inch tracks with three inch paddles. And this was a big deal because buyers who were serious enough to benefit from a belt drive system are the very same buyers who want the longest tracks and tallest lugs. So Polaris went back to the drawing board and for 2021, we now have the Quick Drive 2 system. Now the belt on this system looks pretty much identical to the old one, but in actuality, it's completely different. A new internal Kevlar cord construction has boosted the durability of the belt to a level that it can now easily handle the extra stress placed on it by a three inch lug track, thus erasing any drawbacks related to choosing a belt drive equipped RMK. Along with the new Quick Drive 2 system, Polaris has also developed a new 165 by 2.7 lug track they're calling the Series 8. You may be asking yourself, why is it a 165 instead of a 163? And why is it a 2.75 lug instead of a three inch? And the answer to both questions is very important. We're told the new 2.75 height lugs offer a no compromise, best of both worlds combination of the lightweight and instant track speed of a 2.6 and the deep snow traction of a three inch. It's a 165 because the Series 8 track has a 3.5 inch pitch versus the 163's three inch pitch. The extra track length is simply a result of the difference in pitch. Now you're probably wondering even more why this is important. The 3.5 inch pitch Series 8 track with a 2.75 lug while longer is lighter than the three inch pitch Series 7 track with only a 2.6 lug. So you're getting more length and lug for less weight. And to me, that's a win-win. But the question is, how do they actually work on the snow? I can say that after spending considerable time on the new Pro 165, the difference between it and both last season's Pro RMK 163 with a 2.6 lug and a belt drive, or last season's Pro RMK 163 with a three inch lug and a chain case is definitely noticeable. When compared to the older model with the chain case and the three inch track, the weight is immediately noticeable, as is the reduction in inertia. The sled can be flicked with way less effort and it requires less effort to hold it on its side during a side hill, especially when you're on the gas. Versus last season's 2.6 lug quick drive one equipped Pro RMK, the noticeable difference is entirely in the traction department. That little bit of extra lug and length might not seem like much to most, but when the snow is extra soft and deep, it makes a big difference. The real proof for me that Polaris's new quick drive two and series eight equipped Pro RMK is an improvement over last year's sled is that it's allowed me to ride longer with less fatigue and ultimately go places I wasn't previously able to go. 
And in my opinion, that's all that really matters when it comes to updates and improvements in the mountain segment. Is this enough to firmly place the Pro RMK in the number one position in the mountains? Well, that all depends on what's most important to you and how you ride. If having more power is what you need or want, your attention may be pulled elsewhere this season. But if you think the lightest, best handling, most predictable, most precise, and easiest to ride mountain sled is what's gonna make you a better rider, then you really only have one choice, and this is it. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, built for the victory lap, and by Arcticat Snowmobiles.